Hi there, welcome to TimeNet CPOC Live Training videos. In this video, we will see how we can configure Windows Live Family Safety on Windows 7. This is an upgraded version of the parental controls that is inbuilt feature in Windows 7 with which we can configure the user accounts in our in our computers uh, so that some games can be blocked, some applications can be blocked, we can give time limits for the use of the computers. We have already uh, created a video or you might have seen it already, uh, the video which is on parental controls. Uh, the Windows Live Family Safety is something which is an upgraded thing of the parental controls. I have actually I have mentioned uh, about the Windows Live Family Safety in, in that video on parental controls. The use of uh, this Windows Live Family Safety is to monitor user account activities and uh, and with the help of uh, Windows Live ID and a program called Windows Live Family Safety which we, you can download from Microsoft website itself. It's a free program actually. Uh, you can download it and you can use a Windows Live ID to log into it and once you have uh, logged into that program, Family Safety program using the Windows Live ID and uh, made the changes or made the configurations according to the user accounts that you have inside your computer. Uh, what the program will do is it will monitor all the activities uh, by this user accounts that are selected and it will upload it to the uh, Windows Live website and uh, a report will be cre created for each user like a report will be created separately for each users that are monitored and um, by logging into the family safety website of windows live uh, you can log in with the same username and password uh, that you have used for the program and, uh, and then you will be able to uh, see the reports on the website itself so everything is online uh, there is no files uh, which are saved in your computer all the reports are created inside uh, windows live so the benefit of uh, this is the benefit of creating this online reports are that you can uh, check the reports anywhere from where you have an internet connection you can add users into it you can you can block or permit websites into it and you can create web filters according to the content and uh, you can you can uh, manage the time based access for your pcs and uh, and the interesting thing is that you can even uh, see the applications and uh, the the downloads which the users has done from the uh, from your computer these things are even monitored by this uh, fam windows family safety and um, another thing is that you can you, you only need one windows library for all the users in your computer and um, you can add multiple computers into it if you are using the same live id to attach computers into the family safety then each of these computers will be associated with the same live id so you can you wherever your users go and um, log in and access the website they will be monitored so you can monitor the same person on multiple computers so that is the use of uh, windows live family safety so let's go and see how we can configure this on a windows 7 machine I am logged on to a Windows 7 machine where I am going to install Windows Live Family Safety. So uh, I have an internet connection and uh, to install Windows Live Essentials Family Safety what I have to do is click on the start menu. It is really easy. You do not have to go to uh, Internet Explorer and type in the website yourselves. Just type in Windows Live. You will get an option here. Go online to get Windows Live Essentials. Click on it. To lead you to a website where you will have to, you will have the option to download Windows Live Essentials now. Click on it. Click on Run. Click on Run again, and the Live Essentials installation window will open up. From there, you can select which all components of Windows Live Essentials you have to install. There are two options install all Windows Live Essentials or to choose the programs that you want to install. I'll click on choose the programs and here you can see the list of Windows Live Essential programs that you have for Windows 7. And from here I will only install Family Safety. I'm not checking everything else. Family Safety. Click on install. It will download the components for Windows Live Family Safety and install it on your computer. You need to have internet connection for this. It will take the time of download and installation. So um, I will pause the video and we will be right back when it completes. The installation has complete and I can click on close now. 
and I can close the website also. Right after the installation of the Windows Live Family Safety Program, uh, you can go to Start Menu and uh, you'll see Windows Live Family Safety here on the Start Menu itself or otherwise you can go to All Programs and click on Windows Live and there you can see Windows Live Family Safety. When you click on this, it will ask you for the Windows Live Hotmail ID or Windows Live ID which you have assigned with this family safety. So you have to uh, type in the Windows Live ID can be a Hotmail or any email address you can uh, use the Windows Live uh, website to associate your email address to Windows Live uh, so it becomes the Windows Live ID. Uh, for me uh, there is an email address called timenet 2012 which is uh, the Windows Live ID I am going to use here at rate hotmail.com and I will give the password so you have to you need to have a Windows Live ID which you can create from the Windows Live website to log on to this program the program itself the Windows Live family safety itself because uh, this program monitors the activities of the users and it creates the reports online so that you can go to the family safety dot microsoft dot com website and you can log in using this same email address and you'll be able to see the report there on the website so that is how it works so uh, you have to give a windows live id when you log into this program first and you need to have an internet connection also so that the the activities of the users can be uploaded to the website and it will be saved as a report there so I have given the password and I can click on sign in so my uh, Windows Live ID has been taken and it will be now onwards it will be used for creating the reports of uh, the users inside this PC so I, I can see a, sta a list of users here the Windows administrators I have one administrator which I am logged on and uh, it is password protected but I do not have any standard user accounts which uh, are monitored by this Windows Live Family Safety so I can click on here I can I can create new standard user accounts from here itself so I can click here and give the names the people who I want to uh, monitor the user accounts which I want to monitor so I'll create one account called kit1 click on create account and one more account I will use kit2 so these are the two accounts that I am going to monitor and uh, you have to select the accounts if you have a uh, have previously configured the accounts inside your operating system before installing the family safety then uh, automatically uh, this program will populate the list of user accounts standard and administrator user accounts that you have inside the this PC and you, you it, they will be listed here so uh, on the right side you can see uh, the monitor account option you can select it on uh, which all accounts you want to monitor I am not going to monitor the administrator accounts it is the highest privileged account I have in my computer so I am not going to monitor it I will be monitoring kit 1 and kit 2 and now I can click on next here you can associate the windows accounts to the family safety accounts so sometimes it will not be there so you do not have to uh, worry about it it will be automatically created when you do it for the first time uh, so if you have this option and it is it is showing kit1 and kit2 then associate the windows accounts with the family safety members and click on next or save it is setting up the windows live family safety the configuration is almost complete and you can click on close now and if you open Windows Live Family Safety once again, you can see the status of the Family Safety filter. And it says that logged on as administrator. This account is not monitored by Family Safety. And these two are monitored, other monitored Windows account. And here you have the option go to the Family Safety website to customize settings. So clicking on this link, you'll be directed towards the Family Safety website of Windows Live and uh, after logging on to that website you'll be able to see the reports of the users so right now we do not have right now we have to log into the windows live family safety website for that you have to use the same email same windows live id that you used 
for logging on to the program itself so I will use timenet 2012 at the rate hotmail.com and the password so this is the uh, web page for the user timenet and these are the family members in your account kid1 kid2 and timenet this has been synchronized from your computer and it will be created inside your family safety website so you have several options here you can manage the list of family members uh, you can add and remove users here you can view activity report if you click on view activity report right now there are no activity reports because um, the kid one haven't logged on to the pc till now or kid 2 also haven't uh, logged on to the pc till now so they do not have activity reports what we are going to do is we will um, log off from administrator and we'll log on as kid 1 and kid 2 and we will see uh, what all things are monitored and what are the options that we have for them one more thing that we can do here from here itself is by editing the um, settings safety settings for each kid so for kid 1 I will make some changes I will click on edit settings and we have uh, several options here activity reporting request no request means the kid can request for adding some website into his list into his approved list that will be done by the kid so we will see that also and the time limits the normal time limits that we have discussed in parental controls in another video uh, we have another video uh, which has been on uh, created on this parental control settings so time limits game restrictions and application restrictions are same as we discussed in the parental control video but the things that are different here is the web filtering you can click on web filtering to uh, block particular sites file downloads has been blocked you can create a list of web filtering URLs so if you are, if you don't want your kid to access Facebook for example facebook.com if you want to block facebook.com for your kid we will type in the name of the website and click on block save the changes here you can see in the list of blocked website you can see facebook.com and uh, these kind of settings can be given to each members which who has who are being monitored by this family safety program so like i said before i will uh, we will we will right now log off from the or switch user and we'll log in as kit 1 and we will see whether cha the changes has taken effect so i'll i'm logging on as kit 1 so once i am logged on as kit 1 in the notification area you will see a pop up saying that windows live family safety has updated your settings and you can see that an icon for family safety is running on your notification area if you right click on it you have several options for turning your family safety filter and go to family safety website open family safety filter and to remove the notification icon so um, you'll you might be thinking that if you are logged in as a kid and if you have the option for turning your family safety filter then what is the point creating all these settings so so if you are logged on as one of the users who are who, who are monitored or one of the kids uh, or uh, not as a parent user account when you click on turn off family safety filter it will ask you the email id and password of the parents windows live id obviously your users or your kids will not be provided with the password of your family safety account so um, they will not be able to provide the password and as long as they are not able to provide the password the family safety program program will work and uh, they can open the family safety filter and see what all options they have means what all settings they has been they, they have been provided with so we can now check whether the facebook the, the web page that we have blocked using family safety how it is working i'll go to facebook.com see uh, there a message comes saying that this page is blocked by windows family safety and you have several options you can ask in person to the administrator 
if you click on this the logging on window will take place or if you click on email your request an email will be sent to the administrator so the administrator also will get a get a notification that uh, your your kid your, the, uh, with the name of your kid he has requested for you to permit access for the uh, particular for that particular website that is the option that we have here and now we can go back and log in as the administrator and let's see what our reports are created in our um, family safety website click on switch user we'll go back to administrator we'll just refresh the page I'll click on family safety and uh, see we have one request here and you click on it it says that kid one has requested for accessing facebook.com I'll go to activity reporting and when you click on view activity report you'll see the searches and uh, and the website which has been accessed mostly by this user so you can see latest blog pages latest searches using Bing web activity if you click on web activity you can see which all pages has been accessed by this user and if you click on PC activity there is one more thing you can see that at what time and at what amount of time the user has been logged on and uh, how many applications the user has used and how many file downloads whether he has played any games whether he, he had download any uh, from Windows any programs from Windows Store and any family safety filter activities he has done all these kind of things can be seen here and you can also select date range and these things uh, can be used for monitoring the user accounts mostly for kids in your at your home using your PC itself all that you need is a internet connection and a Windows Live ID and the same settings can be done for the other kid also and a separate view uh, a report will be created for him for all his activities for even for applications that he, ha he, ha he is using inside his PC and you can also add computers to it once you install another computer with this uh, Windows Family Safety and once you log in using the same Windows Live ID on that computer that PC will be added to the same Windows Live Family Safety account of your Windows Live ID so what happens is even if your kid goes to another machine and logs on to it and tries to access the same website he will be blocked his uh, reports will be created in the Live ID your kid will be uh, monitored wherever he goes and uh, whichever PC he accesses so I hope this was informative for you uh, thank you for watching this video for more videos and online trainings please visit www.timenet.co.in and to know more about our real time training facility the CPOC lab please log on to www.facebook.com slash CPOC lab to get updated news from the CPOC lab uh, you can see what all technologies we are using there and uh, I would like to thank you once again for watching this video